Hey, how's it going? Phelan Hart, Animal Above the Man, made a comment on my video, Empathy, People's Experiences, Demands, and Privilege. Um, and I didn't know that his, until, I, I didn't realize what his uh, uh, name actually sounded like audibly until I actually said it out loud and realized, oh, Phelan Hart, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, he made a comment that got me thinking uh, and not, Nothing that I'm going to talk about here is something that he was directly asking about. But you know how word association, thought association, concept association, you know. So I started thinking about what does the concept of, let's say, white privilege or just privilege mean to me? What What is my definition of it? And it very much differs from the progressive definition of it. Um, because the, the, the progressive definition of it is shoving forth something that, it, it, to me, they're, they're, if they didn't call it privilege like that, it would just be common sense because any demographic that is in the majority of a population is going to have social advantages. And they're going to have a number of other advantages because they're in the majority. Most products are going to be geared towards the largest demographic. Um, uh, socially, uh, it's going to be the most common, so people are going to kind of tend to assume more often that others are part of that same kind of uh, culture. Okay, fine. You know, that goes without saying. To me, it's stupid to try to pound that into people's heads as if... Uh, I, I, I think it's stupid. Progressives tend to... Do, a lot of progressives... I won't say all progressives, but a lot of progressives tend to do this thing where it's like, let's turn everyone we, we talk to, even if they are reasonable, into completely the enemy. Completely. As if they're too stupid to understand anything. And the problem is, some of the things they shove forth can be worded just a little bit differently. And people go, oh, yeah, I, I agree with that. The, of course, the, the people that are in the majority, are, things are going to be easier for that group. Socially, uh, products, etc. right? Fine, yeah, that's that's fine. I understand that. But people shove it forth as... Uh, I don't know, they give, they give people a guilt trip about it. I don't understand that. I think that's stupid. Okay, my viewpoint of privilege is more about an, an attitude someone has. You know, any group of people can can have a privileged attitude. You know, there can be... And so in that regard, white privilege, Christian privilege, Muslim privilege, uh, atheist privilege, you know, these attitudes. Some of the attitude is, you know, one of them could be, well, you know, my way of doing things is superior to everyone else's. There's that. Another aspect to it could be um, not being very aware that other people experience life differently. Okay, that could be another one. Um, another one can be uh, just this, this absolute assumption that, well, I'm human and everything I experience is well, I guess, I guess it's the same thing as the last thing I said. Everything I experience is the same as everyone else's, so every everyone can relate equally. And if they can't, then they're stupid kind of thing, right? And, and you know, those those sorts of attitudes are, are crap. They're, they're crap. They are. And then, you know, there are, there are some people out there. I, I'll give the progressives some credit here. There's, there are some people out there, maybe less than 1% of the population, might actually not be aware that uh, those that are in the majority have some sort of advantage. Maybe there are people that just don't see that at all. And, you know, for those people, yeah, you, you could say that, but how are you going to discern which people actually don't have an understanding of that at all? So, Black Lives Matter is the attitude that comes from them is a very privileged attitude. Um, well, we're going to do what we want and you're going to put up with it because we're better. Now, that may not be, that's not what the message is supposed to be in Black Lives Matter at all. 
They go, that kind of goes against what their message is supposed to be, but that's what so many of the people who are part of the movement, that's what so many of the attitudes that come from that are. You know, as I've said before, a bad attitude can ruin any movement, no matter what it is. Literally, no matter what it is, a bad attitude can ruin any movement. And Black Lives Matter is ruined. It is ruined. It's toast. It's done. Just like feminism. Just like the MRA movement. Just, I mean, just like the men's rights movement, right? Just like MGTOW. Um, focus on the family. Uh, 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 then there are the people who want to shove forth that, well, we, we have to preserve white culture. We must preserve white culture. We have to, or, or something really, really terrible is going to happen. We must preserve white culture. And I'm like, what, what, what? And I'll say the same thing about some of it, it, people of other, uh, other kind of cultures that live within this country, you know, If you want to carry on a culture, then carry that on that culture. But don't make it sound like, well, you know, th th this is... I don't even know how to describe it. It just... Sometimes it's kind of a suprem supremacist attitude. I see black supremacists, I see white supremacists, and I see a lot of people with a supremacist kind of attitude that don't realize that they have a supremacist kind of attitude. Christian supremacists atheist supremacists, there are people with these kinds of attitudes. To me, it's all about a fucking attitude. And we need to speak against that shit when it comes from any side. I guess I'm just rambling now. So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs>